about the biggest shockers at the American Music Awards last night, including the Miley Feline Frenzy. I just walked away, I will always want you. I can't live a lie, running for my life, I will always want you. I'm sitting at home watching this performance with a giant cat on my couch and thinking maybe only Miley could outdo herself without getting naked, performing Wrecking Ball there with a space kitten. How beautiful. Now the lyrics along with her. Now Billboard.com called this kitty the biggest star of the night. Is that right? Bigger than Miley? Bigger than Taylor Swift, Rihanna, and JT, Justin Timberlake? There were certainly lots of amazing moments last night. Pop culture expert Megan Meany is with me from MeganMeany.com. All right. Okay. All right. Let's talk about the kitty here. I mean, look at this thing. I, I actually, I've been saying this all day. I think it should be on everybody's gift list. I want this for Hanukkah. <laughs> a giant space hypnotic kitty that cries diamonds. I actually think this was pretty great of her to do. You do. I think it was a, a step in the right direction. Shocking <laughs> only in that it was incredibly kooky. Uh, my kids walked into the room and thought it was an episode of Wonder Pets until they saw the chick in the bikini. Um, I'd love to have been in the cat meeting when they were like, we got to have the tiger cat behind her lip syncing. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Um, but there, as you said, no twerking. I'll take the purring over the twerking. I'm okay with this direction for Miley. I actually thought I didn't feel the feline thing, but I did feel the performance. I thought it was powerful and emotional. Okay and a little bit tame for her. I, I actually, well, the, the okay. AMAs typically are a little more tame than your other award shows. I think, you know, Miley may be working on the next of her nine or however many lives, symbolism there. Gotcha. And, and maybe this is the impression she wants to leave us with before the award season break. You know, she won't perform again until the Grammys likely in February. I think it's a good so. call. She's gone a little too far but, this but year. But people still don't understand what the heck this is all about. <laughs> oh, let's watch some more, shall we? Yes, we should. First of all, I think she sounds great, but you really can't turn away from a giant kitty, can you? Actor and comedian Anthony Anderson is with us from Hollywood. Anthony is host of the 2013 Soul Train Awards. They're going to air this Sunday night on Centric and BET. All right, Anthony, you watched it. The diamond tears, the kitty lip syncing, the tongue, the Miley tongue at the whole end of the thing. I mean, this cat did everything but twerk. Anthony, I'm thinking that today people are thinking uh, Robin Thicke who? Well, they, they, they could be. Uh, but all I have to say is it's better to perform with the pussycat behind you than to perform with your pussycat out. Okay. Um, so, <laughs> I'm just, just saying. Leave it, leave it at that. Okay, that's fair. I, I should probably <laughs> just move things along. Uh, let us talk about now another a amazing, uh, unforgettable moment last night, kind of like the one we just experienced with Anthony. We had Katy Perry's Japanese-themed opening performance of her song, Unconditionally. Let's roll that out. Okay, so I'm watching this and I'm thinking, wow, what a spectacle, great way to open things up. And then I start thinking, uh-oh, you know, in this age of political correctness, Katie dressed as a geisha, and now, as I kind of expected, she got slammed online by some people who called her a racist and culturally insensitive. In fact, one person tweeted, she nailed the traditionally ignorant costume of a white pop singer. Uh, Megan, what do you think? Is Katie's performance offensive to you? Not at all. It's theatrical, it's inspired, people need to relax. Whenever you appropriate another culture, you're bound to ruffle some feathers, or in this case, wrinkle a kimono. So I expected this, but I think people are being too hard on her. It's colorful Katie. Remember when Gwen Stefani had her Japanese backup singers and, you know, very influenced oh, yeah. by the culture? I don't remember people complaining too much then. No. She's got a legion of Japanese fans. She just was touring there. She apparently had a Japanese family stay with her and her family at some point. I don't think there was anything offensive here. Yeah, and to your point, there was a big debate on NewYorkPost.com that I noticed today, and a guy named Will, presumably it was a guy, he posted this, Madonna did it at the Grammys years ago, and no one said anything. Right. Fast forward 14, 15 years, and now it's offensive. 
as long as she didn't mock the culture, it's fine. Anthony, what do you think? Uh, Katy Perry over the line there? I, 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 don't, I don't think so. Uh, but, you know, I, I'm, I'm ignorant to the culture of, of, of geisha girls. I, I don't know if it's a religious thing or whatnot. I thought it was a beautiful performance, theatrical, colorful. Uh, and, and well done. So, uh, but like I say, I, I don't know anything about the culture. Just as a fan watching this on television, I thought it was a great show. Yeah, and you make a terrific point. I, I also don't really know what can possibly be perceived, and I don't want to be insensitive in any way. I think but. that some people think uh, they were imprisoned and, and, you know, they performed sexual favors. I think actually, though, the original geisha did a very elaborate tea dance, and they were entertainers in their heyday. So it's not necessarily a negative yeah. I, ex I always expect that debate, though. Anytime you, you cross over into a different culture. Ruffling a kimono it, or it, two. It happens. Let's get to another amazing <laughs> moment, the first ever AMA Icon Award. It was presented to Rihanna by her own mother, and I thought this was pretty cool. Let's roll that. I'm so blessed to be a part of this historic moment, and I just want to say I'm proud to present to you the first ever AMA Iconic Award. Thank you. Look at that. I, I thought she was particularly thrilled because she's standing there with her mother on stage. Such a special moment there. Of course, again, you have people pushing back on this one because she's only 25 years old and the Icon Award is kind of like a Lifetime Achievement Award. I, I think those people need to relax. But Anthony, what do you think? An Icon Award at 25, is that too young or does it really matter? Uh, I, I don't think it matters. I mean, people should look up the definition of icon. Um, you know, Rihanna is, is, is iconic in what she does. Yes, she's only 25 years old, but you look at uh, the contributions that she's made to the music world, pop culture. Uh, she has her own fragrance. She sells out all over the world wherever she goes. So I, I think it's a befitting award for, uh, for this particular artist. Yeah, that's enviable. Uh, let's look at some of her acceptance speech after her mom presented her with this award last night. Right now, I can't believe that at 25 years old, I'm holding an Icon Award. That is weird to even say out loud. She actually seems surprised, which is, which is interesting. Are, are you surprised by this at all? Well, and she seems a little young, and I think when I first hear Icon, I do sort of feel like I want it to be somebody a little bit older, but it, this is legit. I mean, she, there was not one song they played in the recap that I don't love. She's got a bunch of uh, Grammys. She's got 33 million Twitter followers. They say that she's tied Elvis and Mariah with her track right. record. That's pretty impressive. <laughs> And I love, the thing I love the most about my, her is that she's not Miley Cyrus. This really is who she is. She's yeah. this uh, down-to-earth island girl who's really kind of a free spirit. And, and, finding, I think, and finding her way right. in front of all our eyes. I like the fact that she sang Diamonds and we saw a kitty crying Diamonds all in one show. <laughs> Megan, Anthony, thank you both. And be sure to tune in to see Anthony Anderson hosting the 2013 Soul Train Awards Sunday night on Centric and on BET.